Hey everybody, Economic Ninja. Let's talk about zombies. Okay, we're gonna talk about zombies today, and I'm actually doing two videos on zombies. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like zombies. I don't like zombie movies. I don't like the whole theory of them. It really just disturbs me, quite frankly. I'm not one of those guys that watches horror movies. I just don't like that stuff. There's enough bad things in the world. Why add to it, right? But uh, you, gotta, you gotta ask yourself. Uh, we are living in a day and age where things are, are getting nutty. I mean, honestly. I mean, I can't even say specific things, you know? Like, if I say a spe special word, you won't even see the video. And that is quite frankly very, that's depressing and, and sad and also should be uh, something that should cause you to act in life, right? Like do something because that, that's really gotta show you where the truth lies and where uh, lies lie, right? And in, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take you back to a story in 2008, 2009. Again, remember guys, I, had, I knew about the, the finance, the great, res, not the reset, but the, uh, the great recession had coming in mid 2005. I saw it coming, I was following Michael Burry and his buddies and uh, in real time, when everybody was laughing at them, I was following them in real time and I was liquidating all of my real estate. We closed up our real estate business. Um, things were nutty. I only kept three properties. I kept a piece of land, a condominium and, a, and my personal home. I actually bought a home right at the top knowing, I told my wife, now, this thing's gonna fall, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna just honker down and stay in this house through the whole thing and we'll sell it on the other side. And we did, and we sold it for, I think, you know, like $100,000, $150,000 profit on the other side, but it fell 40% in value uh, during that time from when I bought it to the bottom. Well, after uh, the Lehman collapse, I came home screaming, yelling, excited. I'm like, it happened, it happened, today's the day. And you're watching the reporters on CNBC, one of the ladies crying because you just couldn't believe what's going on. It's melting down, the end of the world is happening. But look, it wasn't the end of the world, right? Everyone's back. We're buying uh, houses at stupid prices all over again. It's like, it's Christmas all over again. Um, and so I came home, I said, look at this. And then I, I, a few weeks later, I took my wife to Walmart and I said, I want you. And I was trying to show her the psychology of the human mind uh, during a recession or a crash. What they all, everybody was looking at it as a crash. Hey, you know, if the stock market falls by 50% over what, a year and a half's time span, and uh, real estate falls by 40% over a year and a half's time span, I think that's a crash. But, you know, most people are like, it wasn't that bad. I'm like, yeah, I remember you crying. I remember, I remember. Well, this is my point. Um, I told her, we're gonna go to Walmart, and I, what I want you to do is I just want you to look at people's eyes, and I want you to try and get them to look you in the eye without, you know, flapping your hands, <laughs> flapping your arms and stuff like that, and making noise. But what I wanna show you is that there is a depression that is on top of everybody right now. And it's a depression that they can't explain, they don't understand, uh, but, but everybody feels it. And it's very similar to what we felt uh, about a year ago. And so she went in and I went right alongside of her and she just, and everybody was pushing their carts head down. They wouldn't get eye contact. And I was trying to teach her a very valuable lesson because, uh, you know, it's not like I'm a know-it-all, but I was reading a bunch of books and, you know, I was learning a lot of stuff. And, and this was something that really struck me. Well, last year, we had a very similar thing happen to us where people were shell-shocked. They weren't depressed, but they were shell-shocked. It was like, is this really happening? This feels like we're in a movie. And the cool thing is, is anybody walking by my street, walking down the street, I could be sitting out in front and say, good morning. And they would stop, turn, look directly at you. They say, good morning, how are you doing? And they wanted to engage with you because they all felt like they were in this weird pal parallel land and no one could speak to each other and no one could see each other. Think about that. I, I can't even see you or I'm, in, I'm now embarrassed. I put my eyes down. I go into a store and all I'd see is this. Just nobody would look you in the eye. And what was really cool is people wanted to engage because they were starved for interaction, right? Which is really cool. I was able to really share a lot of really neat things with a lot of people and they didn't feel alone. It was just a really neat time. But now we've moved outside of that. We're sort of, hey, things are getting back to normal. And people are just sort of lost. They, they're like wandering in the desert right now and they have no clue what's happening, what's gonna happen next. Some people are really optimistic, but that optimism, only gets you so far if you don't have the nuts and bolts to actually build something you know, meaningful, you could just be like, hey, everything's great, everything's gonna be great. Um, and so 
what I want to share with you is that, that sense of understanding that when you go, how do they not see what I see? Because if you're on this channel, you're watching a dude with a brohawk talking about economics, drinking McDonald's coffee in a back lot, not with some fancy whiteboard and, you know, suit on, you've obviously, you're very similar to me. And you know, I know you guys are walking around going, how do you guys not get this? Like, this is not good. Like this is, we're on a cliff guys. And we're about, we're on the precipice. We're right there. It's about to fall and people don't get it. And it's okay. It's okay to be in your position. Matter of fact, I know you guys know this and you're probably grinning and shaking your heads right now. You can know we're good because <laughs> we know it's coming and we, we're going to be ready for it. Um, but I want to encourage you, if you feel alone, you're not. I mean, I'm right here. Uh, 93,000 other subscribers are here. Uh, it, it's, it, you're not alone. It's just finding those people. So one thing I want to encourage you as I leave this video, we're going to get into the other zombie video because that's how people are acting. They're zombies. They're just walking around, just, just going through the daily routine, just sloughing their feet and dragging their arms. And they just don't know <laughs> what's, what's happening. Um, I want to encourage you guys to get out and try and find some places to go meet other people, conferences, things like that. I know we're doing the one in Coeur d'Alene uh, pretty soon. And uh, just you, you've got to get around people of like-mindedness because there's something like when we when met at Dallas, you, you get so energized and you share e emails um, with each other or phone numbers. And that is so, so exciting, okay? Um, because I think it is very, very valuable to be energized and lift it up by other human beings right now because you're going to need that you're going to need that i'm not crazy right like i just saw that happen or hey i'm not crazy like this is the price of this and 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 i think it's going to go to this and people go nope we agree too and it helps you go look at my coffee cup hey these things are compostable it's sweet so they just drip <laughs> all right guys with that being said the economic ninja is going off on a tangent so i am out